I have Ehlers-Danlos disease. I'm hypermobile and I've had uh, just a slew of injuries. So this is my, I'm going on my 14th surgery since 2020. Ankles, three hips, two shoulders, double thoracic outlet, neck. In this video, you're gonna meet the lovely Leah who has Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, which is a connective tissue disorder. And typically, connective tissue disorders like ED are a curveball. We can help some of them a lot. We're about to record a testimonial with another one of our patients who are getting amazing results with. And with Leah, I would argue that I'm not helping her at all. And I've treated her 12 times and she typically wavers between five to 20% relief every time I see her. I've tried to get rid of her several times and Part of the reason why she's continuing to come is because she does have a little bit of symptom relief and we do make really cool, amazing range of motion changes within the treatment visit. And anytime somebody's range of motion gets better or symptoms get better within the treatment visit and they're all excited, I take it with a grain of salt because what I tell them is that I don't care too much how you feel within the treatment visit. It is a good sign when you get some type of change within the visit. However, what really matters is that you have relief or flexibility improvement that's lasting when I see you next week. And with Leah's range of motion, this was the eighth visit that I saw her. Her range of motion started exactly where it started on the exam and visit one. So we make really cool changes. We're definitely treating adhesion. It's just not sticking because of all the surgeries she's had with getting a disc replaced in her neck. She had her pec minor removed. She had horrible thoracic outlet syndrome. She had a labrum tear her AC joint is degenerated and it's just a lot of stuff. So the main reason why I'm sharing this video is because while what you're seeing here is cool, I want you to be thinking anytime you see cool results like this, is it lasting the next time the person comes in for treatment? Because if it's not lasting and somebody doesn't have permanent pain relief, I would argue that it's all just magic tricks. So enjoy this treatment visit with Leah. Last time you were here, you had about 10% overall improvement. When you say you do better, same or worse? Uh, I would say I'm probably at maybe a 13% today. Okay. A little bit of an improvement. What would you say is feeling better? Um, or do you notice feeling better? Overall, like once he worked on this side, it relieved a lot of the tension I had on the right side, which was great. Where is the main spot? Still the same? So I think we decided we're going to focus solely on the left side from okay. now on because we know like the right side is chasing symptoms. So we're going to solely it. focus on the left. So the left pec, shoulder, neck? Yeah. So we start, we start up here. I have like a large, I guess it's like a knot or something mm -hmm. up in the back here. So it starts under my skull, goes down, and then I lose feeling right about here. Then this, be, like my shoulder blade and this part all becomes numb. Okay. This morning when you woke up, zero to 10? Four, five, actually. Really? Yeah, that's good. That's great. That's great. Yeah. And where did you feel that five? But as an overall, overall, it was like a general, everything was kind of, I wouldn't say that I had any more mobility, but pain was reduced, which is huge. Mm -hmm. so last time you heard I was at an eight, nine. not yet. Last and, time was brutal. Okay. I couldn't turn my head. Oh gosh. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, end of the day yesterday, zero to 10. End of the day yesterday, I was at maybe a seven. Pushing against the wall. Probably only like a six. I mean, it's definitely been significantly more long before. The left side's really numb. Like I don't feel any activity through my pec. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I have a lot of control over my shoulder blade or anything right now. So I wouldn't say it's painful here. Here it's is cool. like a seven because it just feels like it's hanging. Got it. Was that 90? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have no control over it. <laughs> my shoulder blade, it just stops. Um, what I you said feel? brace yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what do you feel there, bringing up your arm? It's just weak. It like my everything under here, doesn't. Yeah. it doesn't feel like it activates. So it just kind of shakes and shudders and then it just slowly drops. Weakness zero to 10. All the weakness. 10. <laughs> 10, yeah, 10 yeah. it's like the weakest. Yes, go ahead. Better. Okay. Can you feel it back here? Yeah, it just it, there's it just slowly gets weaker and weaker and weaker. So I'm feeling the neurovascular sleeve like this, and she's got rib nerves that go 
down deep on our rib cage down that way and I'm feeling some stuff that's pulling tight when I'm in there so that's what we're going to be working on so I'm going to get right underneath those rib nerves go it's pulling it's yanking you okay mm -hmm. Along the thoracic nerve goes here and it goes down to her serratus anterior there. So we're gonna work on this guy. And she doesn't have a pec myron on this side, so I can get in here much easier than I can with most people. Axillary nerve in the quadrangular space that wraps around the humerus and goes to the back. And that's tugging a little bit. I haven't treated this on her. come like this and long thoracics like this and they intersect they intersect like this mm, yeah here like further down my ribs like towards the back and then it's in here that it feels like it's just jammed on your back please back mm -hmm. pectoral nerves even though the pec minor is gone so right where pec minor would be the nerves are right underneath it I have not treated these yet wow wow it's so bad I thought we are getting this on camera two okay. <laughs> Sucks. It does. We're gonna do one more. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good. That was awesome. 
awesome. It feels better same. in the front, same. but I'm Less still I'm too. still dropped. Like I still feel this drop. It feels better. But this here. feels better. It doesn't feel like I'm as rotated. shaking here but a lot less shaking. Okay. well i mean and like i've gotten work on this to, like with acupunct like everything like i'm constantly having and we just yeah. cannot get through yeah. like the layers of it i mean those ones are really bad so i'd be surprised if you don't know some type of sustain yeah it's this bad. is where i've been feeling like some of the waking up yeah but it doesn't last forever but i noticed it like right after the treatment i'm like oh i have like sparks this is promising sparks are good, sparks are good. it means things are still alive so i'll take that mm -hmm. 